hi welcome back so today's video is a suggested video I had a request to do a video about if I was to start my makeup collection from scratch but there were no price limits and I've done one of these before but I've put a price limit on it and I'm pretty sure last time I did it my entire makeup collection came in just under £100 or around about the £100 mark so this one has no price limit so this was a really good suggestion so what I'm going to do I'm going to talk through all of the makeup products I would purchase if I was to completely lose all of my makeup behind me if I was to start from scratch but I can be very frivolous with my budget because there are no limits as to what I can spend on my new makeup products so I'm kind of treating this as an opportunity to try some makeup that I would like to try but I haven't tried because they are expensive products I, I haven't got expensive for every single bit of makeup in here there are a couple of like more budget friendly options so I am very excited to kind of run through this list with you and then tell you how much this entire makeup collection would cost so yeah let's just get started so if I was to start my makeup collection from scratch I would try to go for like a, a minimal makeup collection so I'm trying to kind of get there sorry I have the window open because it's really really warm at the moment so sorry if you heard that motorbike and sorry if you can like hear outside noises but I'm kind of baking I've got the ring light on I need some fresh air so yeah anyway I would try to have a minimalistic makeup collection and I'm trying to get though I do still feel like I have too much makeup so I'm not going to be buying loads of things I'm going to be buying like one thing per category maybe maybe sort of two things but everything I'm going to talk through in this video covers kind of like all my bases so first up would be primer I would actually get a primer if I was to start from scratch and I would get my beloved Bobbi Brown face base the best primer that I have ever tried so hydrating makes my makeup apply beautifully on top makes my makeup look really nice as well and helps it to last for most of the day as well and then because there is no price limit so I'm going to go for the 100ml tub which costs £73 so I'm starting off with a very expensive product but hey I can do so but I would definitely buy this product again and and once I've used up my current primer I would definitely consider buying Bobbi Brown face base again anyway but I wouldn't spend £73 for the 100ml tub I would try to find a discount for it but with this video and this topic I don't need to do that so first item Bobbi Brown face base £73 for 100ml next would be my foundation and this is another product that I do really want to try but it is expensive it's £51 for a 30ml tube 30ml bottle it's the Ilia Skin Tint and I really like wearing skin tints, tinted moisturisers at the moment and I think that's how I want my collection to kind of look like moving forwards. I have three foundations that I do want to start using up now actually because although they are, they are lightweight foundations I do find them kind of too heavy for me. I don't feel like I need kind of, you know, coverage all over. I just need something light which is what I've done today. This is the Sculpted by Amy Hydra Tint and the Ilia Skin Tint comes highly recommended lots of people really really love it but it is 51 pounds it's a very expensive product so that's why I'm going to put it in this kind of video today so yeah would like to try this one at some point so this would be my foundation option an under eye corrector a color corrector is an essential in my makeup routine so the one that I would pick would be the one that I actually currently own and I have it on today this is the Bobbi Brown corrector stick and this is at 26 pounds it's a twisty up stick concealer I get mine in the shade light bisque I think and it just does a pretty good job of helping to kind of neutralize my dark circles and then it means that the concealer I put on over the top doesn't have to do as big of a job kind of concealing and correcting my dark circles so an essential makeup item for me and I'm going to stick with a product that I really like. Next would be a new product but it is a product that at some point I do want to try. It's a concealer and it is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer for £30 and this is another product that has lots of really great reviews about. I think a couple of people have actually sort of suggested it on my channel as well and yeah another item that I really want to try but £30 for a concealer at the moment outside of this challenge is a little bit too high for my budget but it's perfect for this kind of challenge because yeah like I keep saying there are no limits 
powder next. I would go for a pressed powder and not a loose powder. And I would go for the powder that I currently own, which is the Vive, what's it called, Modern Powder Perfector, £28. And this is actually a, a refillable product. It has a hole in the back. Actually, I will show you. There's a hole here at the back where you can press out the powder and refill it. Oh, also, I think I had a little dent, a little crack in this powder and I opened it the other day and then a big chunk of it fell out. But it's a really beautiful, lightweight powder. Good kind of skin tone match for me as well. Does a really good job of setting my concealer under my eyes, my T-zone, minimising how kind of shiny that looks. And yeah, it's just a really lightweight, beautiful, breathable formulation. I really, really enjoy using this powder and it's got a mirror with it as well. And the packaging just looks really quite expensive and I love Vive products as well so I'm going to stick with a trusted product for my powder. Okay let's move on to cheek products next. I'm not going to include any highlighters. If I was to start from scratch I would just skip highlighters. I don't feel like I need any. So bronzer. I'm going to go for two. I like to go for a cream one and a powder one over the top. So my cream one was actually one that I was considering buying before I bought my current cream bronzer, which is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer, I think. Excellent bronzer. But this is the iconic Chanel Les Beige bronzer. Comes, again, like highly recommended. And that's kind of the key thing with a lot of the products on this list. They are items that I want to try because lots of people are kind of raved about them. They're iconic products. And yeah, I would include this bronzer within this list. £37, which I don't actually think is that bad because having sort of read lots of, of reviews about this product, this bronzer lasts for absolutely ages. So it's not a product you're going to get through really quickly and then have to kind of keep spending that £37. So, and also in comparison to other sort of cream bronzers, I don't think it's too much more expensive than others you can get. So yeah 37 pounds for this chanel bronzer and then for my powder one 54 pounds this is the hourglass luminous bronzer light so a light bronzer for my skin tone but it has a little bit of luminosity so it's not like a flat bronzer so where i'm not going for a highlighter i think this product would be quite nice because it adds a little bit of luminosity to the skin and i have never tried any of hourglasses cheek products I've only ever tried a my mascara from Hourglass brilliant the unlocked mascara I think I want to say tube mascara a really good mascara but I've never tried any of the base products and they have tempted me over the years but I've never yet given in and tried them and actually I think if I was to try this bronzer in the future I think you can get the mini ones so I think I'd probably start with that and also a mini one would last for absolutely ages anyway but for this one I would go for the full size Blusher, I would do a similar thing. I would go for a cream one and a powder one. I have not tried either of these products. The cream bronzer I would go for would be a Nude Sticks one. And again, I've been tempted to buy Nude Sticks previously, but I've never yet kind of caved and bought them. So this would be a brand new product. Never tried anything from the brand. So this would be the Nude Sticks Nudies. Shade would be in the nude. There are quite a few different shades to go for, but it looks like in the nude is a very pretty, warm, neutral, everyday colour. So nothing too bright and vibrant. This looks like this would be a really good year-round shade for my complexion. And this is £30. So again, I don't think it's too bad in comparison to like maybe Makeup by Mario, Rare Beauty, Fenty perhaps, those types of brands. I think it's kind of at a similar kind of ball ballpoint. But again, this product has lots and lots of great reviews about it. And I think this was not so much the shade, but I think this product was the blusher that Sophia Ritchie wore for her wedding and her makeup that day just looked stunning. That's the kind of makeup look, I'm not doing it today with this bright lip, but that's the kind of makeup look I, I really like and I want to start wearing my makeup like. Very minimal, but soft and natural. And then with the powder blusher, I've not gone for any House of Colour makeup in this video. It would have been very easy for me to have done so, but I want to not 
include how to colour makeup in this video because I feel like I've spoken about it quite a lot recently but this MAC blusher has been suggested for autumns this is the sheer tone blush in the shade peaches so a really good year round warm peach shade for for autumns I, I was thinking about going for maybe one of my Vive blushes I've got Pesco on today but thought no let's let's try something different I've never tried a MAC blusher I've tried lots of MAC lipsticks lots of MAC eyeliners lip pencils eyeshadows did I say eyeshadows just then eyeliners and eyeshadows but I've never tried any of their base products so no bronzers concealers powders blushes foundations none of them so yeah I thought this would be a good opportunity to try one of their blushes and I'm saying this like I am actually going to go and do this I'm not this is all hypothetical and then to set all of that beautiful base makeup I would go for a trusted setting spray the Urban Decay All Nighter £28 for this brilliant setting spray yeah brilliant setting spray does a great job of setting my makeup all day long love it I have one currently on the go somewhere where are we there it is and then I also have a backup as well so it's an item that I know that I really like and it works for me okay let's do eyes eyeshadow primer I wouldn't go for anything expensive here I would go for the NYX eyeshadow base I spent all of last year and most of this year so far I think maybe was it April perhaps that I finished it up but anyway I spent a long time trying to pan this item brilliant brilliant eyeshadow primer this is had I not tried this product I would have said the Urban Decay primer potion for this category but the NYX eyeshadow base rivals that product I think it's just as good as the primer potion and yeah it's six quid and lasts you for absolutely ages excellent product would definitely repurchase it and it would be my eyeshadow primer for this challenge eyeshadows now I was thinking do I want to include eyeshadows as part of this challenge because I don't really <laughs> actually no that's a lie I do wear eyeshadow but I wear eyeshadow because I've got my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge going on I've got eyeshadow palettes that I need to kind of work through but if I was to start from scratch I don't really know if I would actually include eyeshadows because I could wear a bronzer or a blusher as an eyeshadow do I actually need eyeshadows but I have decided to include some I'm just going to go for one palette it's a quad it's by Vive and it's their soul shadows and I've gone for the quad terror so brown earthy neutrals I think they're all mattes there's no shimmers in there but just really great for getting a very natural simple everyday look but I can also smoke it up a little bit if I wanted to for an evening and also the darker colour within this palette I can use as, as an eyeliner so and I love the quality of Eve eyeshadows brilliant quality they blend like a dream pigmentation is excellent and they're just a really easy to use eyeshadow formulation I don't know what they've done to make it so easy to use them but I love the quality of Eve powders so eyeliners I wouldn't include any because like I say I can use the darker eyeshadow as an eyeliner so then mascara I would go for Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash at £29 I haven't tried this mascara but it is one on my kind of wish list to try depending on how much I can find it for after I've used up my current mascaras I might buy it next but for this challenge obviously again no limit £29 I can easily spend but me in this very moment £29 for mascara is a little bit too much but great opportunity to try this one as part of this hypothetical starting my makeup collection from scratch and then brows I would go for a tinted eyebrow gel one that I've tried a couple times previously love it benefit gimme brow £24.50 I like that the brush is really small so you can be like really precise and I think it's shade 3 that is a really good match for my eyebrows and I think you can get quite a few different shades for this one as well so it covers lots of different shades of eyebrows and it, it helps to kind of separate my eyebrows pushes them up a little bit but holds them in place all day excellent little product so that would be my brow product and then lips this one I found a little bit tricky because like I say I could have very easily included house of color makeup products here but I'm not going to do so for this challenge so lip liner is the cheapest option on this list 
four pounds and it's the NYX Slim Pencil. It's actually a shade I have. It's this one, the shade Natural. Oh, ow, I need to sharpen that. Ah, oh, that's just wood. This is a really natural, neutral warm brown pink. Great everyday colour. The formulation of these pencils are great. It's just a standard, you can't even see it because it needs sharpening. It's just a standard pencil, but it's not drying at all. Glides on pretty well. Great pigmentation. Lasts for a great amount of time. Four pounds. I, I didn't really feel it necessary to spend more as part of this challenge on a lip pencil and I also didn't know what other brands that I would go for. Lip pencils, I don't really feel like there's a lot of hype at the moment about lip pencils. I can't really think of any that are kind of really well known at the moment. So yeah, I would, I would stick with NYX. I think for £4, what more do I want in a lip liner? Lipstick is also another product that I've got at the moment. This has now jumped up to 20 quid. I remember when MAC lipsticks were like 14 pounds. So the lipstick obviously would be a MAC one. This is in the shade Smoked Almond. This is one that I got free as part of the Back to MAC, not campaign, the Back to MAC thing <laughs> that they did. So you take back six empty MAC products, you get free lipstick. They don't do that anymore. So this was the last free one of that that I got. This smoked almond goes really well with the natural lip liner and again it's a really lovely everyday warm but warm neutral brown pink shade. Again this was a suggested colour for autumns outside of House of Colour makeup suggestions. This is a amplified cream formulation so you get really great pigmentation but it's so super comfortable. I think Amplified Cream and the Satin formulations are my favourite formulations from MAC. And the quality of MAC lipsticks are just fantastic. I would say these and Estee Lauder are the best quality lipsticks that I have come across. They're just excellent formulations. So this one I would go for because I like to wear, most days, not today obviously, a neutral, natural, brownie pink lip colour. And then for $10.99, the lip gloss is going to be the last item I'm going to include. And I'm just going to go for a clear lip gloss from Kiko. These are the 3D Hydra lip glosses. They have a wide, huge range of shades to go for. It's actually a little bit daunting because you look at them all and you go, I don't know, I could, I could get all of them. Or, I don't know, there's so many different shades that you can go for. But I've just decided to go for a clear one because this will be quite handy to go on its own over the top of the lip liner or the lipstick, or both. So quite a versatile product to go for. So I would just go for the clear, I think. So total costs then, if I was to buy absolutely everything on that list, it would cost me 504 pounds 49p. So initially I'm like, whoa, that's quite a bit of money. That's a lot of money to spend on my entire makeup collection. But I did actually think it might be a little bit more than that, especially if you consider that the primer alone was £73, the foundation was 51 the hourglass bronzer was 54 I thought actually that this could be a bit more than that. So, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not going to do it. I don't have £504.49 to spend on an entire makeup collection, and I don't need to because I have an entire makeup collection and especially as well because if I was to do the budget version of this the other video that I had put out the entire makeup collection under a hundred pounds and also with this as well there is the risk that I wouldn't like the products because a lot of the products in this challenge video are new items items that I want to try because they've had a lot of hype around but I haven't because they are expensive so if I was to go and do this I might be disappointed by some of the items because I've not I've not tried them. But it was a really interesting idea. I actually had a lot of fun thinking about what items I wanted to include. So yeah, it, it's been a really interesting kind of concept for a video. So thanks so much for your suggestion. And if you, anybody has any other suggestions of content that you would like to see, please do drop me a comment and I will do my best to fulfil that. So if you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what items you would choose as well down below. Would you stick to like tried and tested items or would you do what I did and take it as an opportunity to just blow the budget? Well, there isn't a budget, but just spend as much as you want on items that you haven't tried before and would like to. So yeah, please do let me know down below. 
and thank you once again for watching and I'll see you again very soon for my next one.